right, let's run through our major blood vessels. We're going to start up at the top of the heart. We've seen these before. Superior vena cava, that aortic arch, and then our pulmonary trunk. Let's name some of those veins that contribute to the superior vena cava. I see a subclavian vein and an internal jugular vein, which fuse together to make the brachiocephalic vein, which next flows into the superior vena cava. And I see that same thing over on the left side. Again, an internal jugular vein and a subclavian vein that both drain into my brachiocephalic vein, which then drains into that superior vena cava. Looking at the arteries, coming off the arch of the aorta, first I get the brachiocephalic trunk or artery. Remember that only exists on the right side of the body. And it gives rise to the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. The left common carotid artery comes off the aorta, as does the left subclavian artery. All right, that common carotid artery is going to branch. Anytime we hear the word common, we should be thinking it's going to branch. Uh, and it branches into an internal carotid artery, which has no branches off of it until it goes through the skull and into the brain. And over here would be my external carotid artery. I can tell it's external because it's going to be having branches on it that supply external structures. And that first branch coming off the external carotid artery comes down to my thyroid gland, and that's called my superior thyroid artery. Now I can see that both on the right and the left side of this uh, this chart. All right, I'm going to move down into the abdomen. It's a little bit tricky to see vessels in the abdomen because we still have an awful lot of uh, organs. Let's actually come back to this view and let's move instead down to this chart where I can see a little bit more of my vessels because we've removed some of those organs like, like the stomach. So the big artery that I see here is my uh, abdominal aorta. And remember that that abdominal aorta has three arteries that branch directly from the front or anterior aspect. There's the celiac trunk, which is a short artery with three branches. So my celiac trunk gives off the gastric artery, the splenic artery, and then the common hepatic artery. That's my first one, the celiac trunk. Uh, the second one we can see here, although the pancreas is blocking the spot where it comes off the aorta, that's my superior mesenteric artery and then below my inferior mesenteric artery. Let's look at those three arteries one more time over here. So again, my celiac trunk, which is easily identifiable because of the three branches coming off of it. Let's get that in focus. Um, gastric, splenic, and then common hepatic. My superior mesenteric artery and my inferior mesenteric artery. All right, I'm gonna swing back over to this image. Uh, continuing inferiorly, I see that my abdominal aorta splits or bifurcates here, giving off two common iliac arteries. So two common iliac arteries, and then each common iliac artery splits again, giving me an external iliac artery, which will go down and supply the lower limb, and an internal iliac artery, which goes into the pelvis. And I see the same thing over on the other side, although it's kind of hard with this uh, peritoneal membrane in place. Other arteries coming off the aorta include lumbar arteries, and they would come off on both sides, lumbar arteries. And then uh, the arteries that go into our kidneys, which would be our renal arteries, and I can see that over on the left side. Unfortunately, my small intestine is blocking it over on the right side. The veins have the same names. Over here, I see my inferior vena cava. Uh, these are hepatic veins, which would be coming out of the back of the liver. This is the hepatic portal vein. This is carrying all that blood coming from the small intestines or the stomach or digestive structures into the liver for filtration. Uh, next to my superior mesenteric artery, I see my superior mesenteric vein. Uh, I see some lumbar veins running next to lumbar arteries. I see common iliac vein next to my common iliac artery. I see an external iliac vein and an internal iliac vein. 
Uh, two, oh, here we go. Here's a vessel pair I didn't talk about yet. These guys. So we've got a skinny artery and vein combo pack heading down into the pelvis. Those are the gonadal arteries and veins. So gonadal's generic. If it was male, we'd call it testicular artery and vein. If it was female, we'd call it ovarian artery and vein. All right, let's look at those same structures over here. Again, celiac trunk superior mesenteric artery, inferior mesenteric artery. There are my renal vessels, both artery and vein, renal artery and vein, my gonadal vessels, artery and vein, gonadal vessels, artery and vein. A common iliac, artery and vein, external iliac, artery and vein, internal iliac, artery and vein. Lumbar, artery and vein. I see my hepatic veins, my inferior vena cava, and then my abdominal aorta.